sometimes um, people are judgmental about suicide and say things like, um, well, why don't you just do it? Or if you really meant it, you would be dead already. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and I, and I want to talk about that, that there is, even as much as someone wants to die, there's an innate urge to live that's very, very powerful. And so it's as if it's both may be true and that judgment about it is, is really problematic. Mm -hmm. So I think that one of the things about suicide is that as a culture, we often talk about it as such a negative thing. We say you've committed suicide. That person committed suicide, like they committed a crime. Um, or if you really felt that way, you would have just killed yourself already. Or if the one that your parents always say, if somebody jumped off a bridge, are you gonna jump off too? What does that tell us? It tells us that it's impossible to not want to commit suicide, to not want to engage in suicide if we're feeling, having thoughts and feelings related to suicide. So the thing is, just because you're having thoughts and feelings about suicide doesn't mean that your body also isn't having an innate drive to stay alive. The fact that you're on this page, the fact that you're listening to my voice right now means that somewhere inside of you, you don't want to get yourself dead. You don't want to die. And at the same time, you're having those thoughts and feelings and most people don't understand the difference. That you can have two completely opposing points of view on something and both can be equally true.